Hey, what's up guys? My name is Elias and welcome to a third tutorial on jQuery. And do not be confused by all the signs of code. Um, I just wanted to show you guys um, a small example of using jQuery. And every time you see this dollar sign here, uh, you know I'm referring to jQuery. And you already have to know what this line of code does, for instance. And if you don't know, please go back to the previous tutorial and watch it again. Anyway, uh, let's go back to our work. Um, I probably said that, I don't remember. Anyway, jQuery is actually a big function, which is called jQuery as well. And it's stored within this jQuery core, which we opened in the first tutorial. And what it does, it takes parameters, for example, uh, in this case it's spatial, and um, does some stuff with that. And you can like you can apply actions to to your uh, to your element which is wrapped in in jQuery. So what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing this element and I'm applying this action to it. And there's a shortcut for uh, the word jQuery, and the most of developers use it. It's dollar sign. So um, let's get rid of one of these. Yeah. All right. And before we continue, I want to make sure you guys know what this code does. Um, well, it takes this special element and hides it. So if I run this code, I won't see the button uh, button one on, on my on my screen. Yes, it's gone. And now let me place the script tag to the top of the page and see what's gonna happen. Mm. It's not hiding, right? Well, why is happening so? Why uh, is this button not disappearing? Well, it's simply because your browser works with your HTML code sequentially. So what it means, it starts on the top and goes to the bottom. And by that moment, when your browser executes this line of code, it doesn't know that we have a bunch of elements down here. So in order to make your code run, um, you can either place your script tag to the bottom like this, or you can use uh, some built-in function in jQuery, which is which is uh, which is great. So let me uh, create a new script tag, and it works as follows: uh, you can place your dollar sign or type jQuery, and say function, and then put uh, empty parentheses, and then open a curly bracket, and then you can hit enter. That means you are typing your code within this curly brackets, and do not for do not forget to uh, put the semicolon down here. Otherwise, it will throw an error. Great. Um, and now you can type your code within this curly brackets. For example, if I pick our line of code we used before and paste it here can get rid of this, uh, my element spatial will be hidden. Um, so let's test it. Yeah, element uh, button one is gone. Why? Well, because this function will execute only when the whole document is loaded. So you can say a command um, document has been loaded. Yeah. All right, the next thing I would like to show you guys is how to change an element style runtime using jQuery. Let's say uh, we want to use function CSS instead of using function hide. And the function CSS usually takes two parameters. The first one is the property, and the second one is value. So let's say the property is font size, and let's set it to uh, 35 pixels, so it's going to be very, very large. And let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, you see that? The button got very large. You can also um, do lots of bunch of stuff, like saying color or whatever. Color, red. So now it's red. All right, so that's it for now. I hope you learned this stuff. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a nice one!